Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Art Court. Now I hope you've all had a good week. Now this week's Inside Star Citizen wasn't exactly uh, totally thrilling but uh, we did get another look at the work being done on the Banu Defender. Now by the look of the footage they showed us um, the actual extra time they're taking uh, for this ship which should actually be out in 3.7 hopefully um, has been well worthwhile as we uh, got to look inside at the unique alien design of this uh, first Banu ship. Now we also got a look at the outside of the Banu Defender and uh, we could see that uh, there seems to be a ramp actually at the front of the ship where you actually enter uh, the Banu Defender. <laughs> Saw some uh, work being done on signed distance fields, which uh, is a, a graphical term for actually uh, some VFX work they're doing. And what this seems to indicate is that uh, even at this stage of development, they're still trying to find uh, ways to improve uh, the look of uh, well this uh, VFX particle work they're doing. As you could see, we saw some before and after shots here. This is a before one and uh, they added the new effects to actually uh, show the amount of uh, different particles which can come off uh, um, when the uh, object strikes the surfaces. Now also we had a look at sound design and uh, in particular uh, members of the audio team uh, for uh, Squadron 42 and Star Citizen went to uh, Sweden where they partnered with uh, pole position productions now uh, this is a actual uh, third party company who uh, provide uh, sound solutions to uh, media film and uh, games and uh, we can look on their website here which you should see in front of you and uh, obviously they've worked on uh, a fair amount of different games including battlefield and far cry so obviously uh, that will help uh, the audio team to get uh, a lot of uh, different sounds into the game that's why they was in this uh, chemistry lab <laughs> Now it's probably not really worth looking at the uh, Star Citizen uh, roadmap at the moment. Doesn't seem to be too much progress going on at the moment. Maybe it's the summer, I don't know. But uh, probably best to ignore it for now. However, there was an interesting Star Citizen Live this week where the composer for Star Citizen, Pedro Camacho, actually showed us his uh, creative processes for creating the awesome music for Star Citizen and uh, it's well worth a, a watch this one. 
uh, our corp is all engineered to be completely construction from one side to another. And I felt the melody should also represent, even though people don't hear it at first, but I wanted the melody to have this mathematical approach so everything fits together as in a, like, a, like a giant Lego construction. I don't know if that, that makes sense, but uh, it's um, something I thought. So let's just, and let's hear that in the, um, in the mix, how that hears. I think music is, um, uh, it's not only about making it sounding good. I, I like when music also has some kind of message. Uh, and that's something I try to give not only every, in everything I write, but certainly in Star Citizen and certainly in Arcorp, which is such a, I mean, it's, it's such a powerful planet to me. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, the video. And uh, until next time, wherever you're watching, out in that big universe, you take care. Hopefully, I'll see you all sometime soon. Bye for now.